Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. This time we'll be taking at the Sacred Seals tierless update. Uh, I want to preface this by saying that uh, I'm a dumbass. And I've been forgetting to also show the, the seal added to the forge for the past two episodes. So there's about 12 seals that have been added to the forge since last time I actually paid attention enough to showcase them. So, yeah. Let's cover that now, because I prefer having everything shown than only part of it. So, first off, these three seals. They're not in order, by the way. I, I don't really exactly remember the order of when they came out. As far as these are concerned, Steady Posture can be pretty good. Uh, this thing guard is going to be fairly decent, mostly in AR defense. That's about... All the ones that are not that are not blah, noteworthy here. As for this one, they're mostly not very amazing. Flyer guidance can be good for flyer balls. Spur attack res can be pretty solid for arena. As for this one, mirror stance is almost a must-have. Uh, really, really good seal. Uh, chill Rest can be useful in some cases, mostly for AR defense, otherwise it's not very that amazing. And that's about it. And as for this one, this one, Swiss Sparrow is almost a given. I mean, let's be fair. Uh, very, very good seal. Speed Feint can be good in, uh, in Arena, to some extent. And that's really it. Now, to talk about the actual seals that have been added, uh, let's start with the worst seal added, Defiant Speed. I don't think I have to talk too much about this one, it's the same issue as the Defiant Death and Defiant Attack seals. Nobody cares, they only work when you're under 50% HP and they don't do enough for you. Especially since at this point own speed 4 is a thing. Um, speed tactic gives you almost the same amount of speed, and guess what? You can buff more than one people, and it doesn't waste a seal slot. Or, honestly, even if it was a seal, it would actually be worth it, because you'd be able to buff several people, not just one. And not just one on certain very specific conditions that are really annoying to fulfill. Moving on to even attack wave, as per usual I'm going from worst to best. This is going to be a fairly quick video, I'll just say this. Uh, even attack wave can be very good for a niche pick in terms of AA. Uh, if you want to have a self buffing tool for blade tomes. Uh, given you have to deal with non lol attack characters, you know, uh, or Larse. The seal can still provide you 12 extra attack for those units, so as long as you have a decent speed stat, okay, like stuff like, I guess to some extent Tharja, because our weapon lowers the enemy's attack by 4, this can be a good option to have. It's not amazing, but it's a good option to have if you want a standalone blade tome without a unit to buff it, so to, so to speak. Next up is Death Feint. Uh, Death is probably the most annoying stat to get rid of. Or not really the most annoying stat to get rid of, but the most annoying stat to have in front of you to deal with. Uh, Death Feint helps you alleviate that to some extent in Arena. So this is pretty good. Outside of Arena, it's not too amazing, uh, but it's still very good to get that cheerleader kill in without wasting any important slot of her build. So this is pretty solid still. Which, fun fact, Death Feint is only available on Summer Enos to this day. I don't get it. We got Roost skills already, but not Death Feint on any unit in the actual pool. Go figure. Next up is Close Guard. Close Guard is a bit similar to Distant Guard. They're both decent. Uh, at this point, Close Guard is about as valuable as Distant Guard, purely because... Um, you're dealing with about as many range units as you do physical, and if you're in AR, close guard has less value than distant guard, whereas in, if you're in arena, close guard has a bit more value than distant guard. But for the most part, they are more or less equal. 
So this is a good seal to have, to some extent. Uh, I feel like Drive Death or Drive Rest will be more helpful to you consistently if you need to have stat in one of the two, uh, rather than having both of them. Unless you have Close Guard and Distant Guard on the same unit, then it tends to be fairly decent. Um, Dancer Arena comes to mind. Very good unit with it. But yeah, not much else to say about this one. And last is Death Blow. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be confused as to why it's not S+. It's mostly because all it does is 6 attack. Uh, it's a very... There's a lot of situation where you don't want to have Death Blow, but rather have something else. Death Blow will be fantastic on unit like Reinhardt. Even though, to some extent, if you go plus 10, you can make a speed Reinhardt that actually hit almost 50 speed. In which case, if you can afford it, it is better than to just go Templo 7. It's actually not bad at all. So, yeah, that's that's pretty solid. But at the same time, if you're talking about a unit that has a good amount of attack, uh, decent bulk, and a bit lacking in speed, like say Legendary Chrome, so Sparrow will do you better. If you're talking about a unit that is already quick, so, you know, 6 attack would not be too bad. Typically, they can just use Brazen Attack Death, Brazen Attack Res, which gives them more attack on top of being on every phase. Um, Sturdy Blow is a similar case, mostly for Cav units because they don't get to have impact. So having Sturdy Blow as a seal is still a good option if your defense is not too great. Um, Unit that comes to mind, which are typically player phase unit oriented, such as Brave Lin, can really use Sturdy Blow a lot better than Death Blow because their death is a bit lacking, so being able to fix their death to some extent is pretty good. But yeah, like Death Blow is a solid seal, just there's better in my opinion as far as seals goes. Brazen Attack Death, Brazen Attack Speed, Brazen Attack Res. Swiss Sparrow as well as Sturdy Blow are all better options, and that's just how I feel personally. So yeah, this was a pretty short video. Again, there's not much to talk about when it comes down to Sacred Seals. Really funny how I, I literally, the last video I've made of Sacred Seals, I literally said this. I'm going to make... One Sacred Seal tier list video per, like, two months, instead of every month. And, uh... Yeah, then they reduce the amount of seals you get from three to two. And now I'm just sitting here like... Oh. <laughs> what do I do with this? <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do it every three months now, instead of every two months. That's an idea I'm going to let simmer. Uh, cause four seals, there's just not a whole lot to talk about. Even five is really quick, as you can see. I kind of went through all of them in like eight minutes. But, yeah, not much really to say here. Hopefully this was pretty helpful. Most of these seals are not exactly combo-worthy. Uh, like, you don't combo them into specific unit to do something very good. Uh, it's mostly, like standalone seals that work with just about everything so it's kind of hard for me to really point out anything that's really amazing about them like death blow is good on reinhardt did you know um it's not even that great for brave bow units like for example example gem key i would always pick swiss Pero or whenever that comes out mere strike or sturdy blow over death blow because i mean i prefer having a light, an extra bit of bulk um, or in my case, I use attack speed 2 because I actually get damage on my AoEs as well. Which is pretty good when you're trying to clip the unit around the AoE, not just the unit you're attacking. But yeah. With that said, I think that's about all I had to say here. Next video will be a lot more meaty. Uh, next video will be about Rinka and Co. After that, it's going to be the Refined Tier List. And after that, the Iago. Um, video because Iago actually has enough to talk about to make a whole video which is kind of weird to say considering it's a fake character I love how Traven did not get a pref but Iago the character that does not have a pref does just feels like a massive giant middle finger but uh anyway 
I'll be seeing you all later, or on Discord, or in the comments. And I do want to say I'm sorry for how slow I am on the comments lately. I'm trying to focus on getting at least a video done, so I don't really talk too much in comments. So if I'm a bit delayed on my answers to the comments, that's probably why, because I'm I just want to at least not be distracted when I'm working on something and I'm actually like focused on it. So sorry about that. But yeah, do you know I read every comment? It just sometimes it takes a bit of a bit of time, and then I reply to them a bit later. But yeah, I'll be seeing you all next time, y'all. Have a nice one. Stay safe.